All right, guys, welcome, welcome. Uh, Amp Capo Black Adonis Games. Um, today I'm gonna just be uh, sharing with uh, some people that are having some issues with uh, blueprints, especially with child actors and uh, trying to get blueprints to work. Because, like in this specific uh, instance here, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. I had uh, made a, as you can tell, he's an exact replica of this guy here, but with just different skin and armor and things. This is my bot. Um, if I put them in game, um, both of them, you'll see that I'll just drop them in right here real fast just so you can just see um, that they react different. One of them runs different than the other one does, and they shoot and everything different as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to move down here a little bit because these guys get to moving fast. But it'll be just so you can see the uh, differences in them that I've done so far. I have a lot more to do on them. But anyway, here they go. And there you go. You see one guy, the monster, he runs his way. The other guy runs his way. If I jump and they shoot at me, see how that guy shoots with his arm? And he shoots out of his chest. So... That's pretty much what I'm talking about. All right, so that's what I'm talking about there is that uh, these guys uh, are the same, you know, they can use the same blueprints. They literally share the same blueprints. Um, as I will show you here, when I go in to the, this is the parent actor here. And when I go into this actor, um, if you look here, he has his own animal blueprint here. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the other guy now. And you'll see that he also has his own version that says bot. So this is basically what I did. Um, what you do is you can go here and I'll just do another one. It doesn't make a big deal. I can just delete it when I'm done if I'm not using it. But if I wanted these guys to run different, they're using the same skeleton, which is very important. Um, Make sure that uh, if you're doing parent-child actors and things like that, try to keep everything consistent. Try to use the same skeletons and things like that. It just makes life a lot easier. Um, but anyway, um, what I did was I just literally, if you look in here, this guy has everything, um, all of his settings. Um, they both share the same uh, uh, AI controller as well. So anyway, when the commands are given, it plays animation. So what I did was I literally just went to the original uh, character here. I went to his blueprint and I just went here and I actually went create child blueprint class. And I'm just gonna name this one monster two just so I can remember so I can delete it. But basically all you do is you open this and what happens is everything here is just updated through the event blueprint update animation here to the parent so it basically just calls out to the parent if you look in here it has no functions but what it does have is over here is it has the asset list here and these are the anim overrides here it lists all of the animations and what I'm using so basically all I did was I had other animations that I wanted to use and you can go here and you can literally change the animation to the one that you want to use for that particular instance. So like if this is monster range attack, I just went in and then I had one called gunplay that I used and I just filled that one in there instead. So now when the monster attacks, he's got a ranged attack, he's going to use this um, gunplay and I'm gonna just put another one here as well alright so now I'm gonna compile this right and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assign that now to the parent so that he will now do this same animation as the bot when he shoots so I gotta go here change my animation blueprint to the uh, anim BP um, there should be a monster two here we go mons mons two or whatever that is <laughs> that's the one though so anyway we're gonna go ahead and compile that and you can tell usually the best thing to do is already be in your uh viewport here and you can usually tell if the animation takes because obviously he's gonna be moving and uh, acting out the idle pose of the animation 
So now if we go in here, these are the same two characters. Okay, I'm gonna do a play from here. Okay, now when you watch, his run is the same, but look, when he shoots, see now he's shooting just like the other guy is. They're using the same shot. And that's because I just simply overrode the animation. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. There's a lot of people that are like I used to do before I knew uh, any of these things. Um, I used to literally go in and in the master blueprint create a, which you can do, you can go in and um, you can create uh, variables using bools and uh, branches and things like that. And you can still achieve uh, something very similar, but it's just a lot heavier and it just doesn't and, make uh, sense to do all that work you can just when, uh, do it this way so um, that's just a little something I wanted to show you guys um, hopefully it'll help somebody out there but like I said you just go in here you know you make a uh, child of the actual full animation and from there you actually can you know put in your own animations and make it happen um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one now because I don't need it anymore. But.